Hey Facebook, hi, this is Jay Lee from uh, LA UFO Channel. Uh, thanks for joining me today. Um, I just got back from work. I'm all set up. Uh, I'm ready to go. Uh, I saw one a little bit earlier today. Uh, actually, I saw two of them, and uh, it was just really amazing. Um, I'm all set up to go. Let me show you my setup. <clears throat> Uh, this is where you will see the UFOs. Uh, they're high definition. The HDMI cords are connected to uh, this television. Uh, this is my P, I mean, I'm sorry, my V520 camera. Uh, it's ready to go. And this is my, um, my ETX90 with the A6000. And uh, it's ready to go too. I just need to turn it on. So. This is my P900, and uh, let's see, just kind of want to show you my surroundings right now. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to open up, I'm going to open up this, um, this, uh, this live you, um, Facebook uh, to, um, to get you guys to, um, Give me a call because I I noticed I just noticed that when I talk with people, I notice that um, that whoever I'm talking to uh, can draw them in, you know, depending on if they're if they're connected. So anyway, I want to see if I could switch this around. Oh man, it looks to me. Want to uh, want to see who's watching? Uh, what I'd like to do? Oh gosh, I'd like to flip this around. Let's see if I could flip this around. Is it flip? Yes. Here we go. This is my phone number. Uh, this is actually my fax number. So uh, it's usually hooked up to the fax, but I disconnected the fax. So um, so give me a call on this phone and uh, talk with me live. And if you have any questions, just let me know. Okay, so I'm going to try to switch things back. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> so anyway, I want to um, I want to get people to send me uh, UFOs to Silmar, California. Okay, and I'm going to be doing some I'm going to be doing some summoning myself. I'm going to be inviting them to come to my location here in Silmar. I have the cameras all set up so that you could got, you guys could see your first UFO. So I've already seen two of them already, and I'm hoping that if you telepathically send them, tell them my friend Jay Lee is over in Silmar. He's got a let me show you. He's got a beacon on his roof that will shine at you. Tell them to give me a sign that they're here and have them have them reveal themselves over to me so that I could use my my telescope and or my V520, my Panasonic V520, to capture them and stuff, okay? So this is like fishing, but it's more sky fishing and stuff. So anyway, if um you know if you would like please give me a call. I'll make sure that I have my phone number more posted uh, for you guys next time and stuff. But I know this is not going to be very exciting totally because I just need you to send them to Silmar. Tell them to come over to Silmar, okay? And if you end up, if you end up seeing them, just type inside the, uh, inside the comment, comment section that you know, this was you that brought them in to me, okay? So I could videotape them, all right? So anyway, uh, thanks for joining me. And um, I'm hoping something shows up <laughs> you know, soon. Uh, this entire weekend was, uh, was horrible. This is when I ended up doing my, my very first ones, but it was, uh, it was so cloudy and uh, the cumulus clouds were like totally lined up. So it was blocking the sky and I figure we're gonna, you know, when, when I do this, I'd like to have the uh, sky open. So um, if I can get the sky open, 
if I can get the sky open, then we can um, we could see them better. And then along with my glasses, which are uh, you know polarized, uh, we can um, potentially see them. Like I said, I saw two of them not too long ago. So uh, there were there were two small ones. And uh, let's see, here comes a plane. I want to show you. I kind of want to show you what this looks like. I kind of want to show you what this looks like. So we have. It looks like a. Um, oh my gosh, it looks like a uh, uh, Southwest airline and stuff. But let me show you what it kind of looks like. Okay. Is it working? Okay, here we go. Where are we? I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this, but we'll try. Come on. There it is. This is a Southwest airline. I'm not sure how high it is. Um, let me check it out and see how high this thing is. Um, uh, I have this this pro this app. It's called uh, Plane Finder, and the Plane Finder will let me know how high something like this is. So when we end up seeing something, we'll be able to, you know, kind of distinguish how high this thing is. So anyway, I wanted to show you some of the other capabilities of uh, of this camera, and the capability of this camera is. You know, I'm not sure if you've if you've seen my other videos and stuff, but this one, this tower's about a quarter mile away. So this is 80 times zoom with the V520. So this is uh, this is what it looks like at 80 times zoom. So at a quarter mile, it's got a, a lot of detail to it and stuff. So it's kind of an interesting um, you know thing. And when uh, but you know a, a lot of these UFOs they. Uh, like to keep their distance. So, anyway, so we'll see how it goes. We'll zoom out here. This is the mountain. I climb up on top of that mountain. It's kind of crazy. So, anyway, we'll see how it goes here. Hopefully, you guys were able to see that. Okay, here we go. So, anyway, send them to. Silmar, California. Okay? Telepathically think. Send them to Silmar. I'll make sure that the volume's down. Uh, you guys are amazing. Who's who's on here? Connie. Nice meeting you, Connie. Thanks for uh thanks for coming. I um I need you to send them to Silmar. I'm not sure where you are. Make sure when you write me, tell me where you're coming from, what part of the country you're from. So, or what part of the world you're from, so you'll be able to send them to my place over in Southern California. I'm a, I'm a little bit north of Los Angeles. So send them over to, just think, go over to visit my friend over in Silmar. He's got a beacon on top of his house and it will shine on you. It, it'll shine on you. Um, give him a sign that you're, that you're there with him, okay? And if I see them, I will try to capture them with my, my V520, the one that you just saw, or my telescope, which is 100, it's 155 times. Okay, so this one is, it's pretty amazing and stuff. So anyway, thank you for, uh, you know, sky surfing with me and stuff, okay? Just have them come over to Silmar. It's called Silmar. I saw one earlier. I mean, I saw two of them earlier. So we just need to. Um... See if we can capture these guys. I'm going to leave this one. All right. I made a calling earlier. So. Uh, hopefully uh, with your calling, when you call. Send them over to Silmar and just say, teach me something so that I can teach others. 
uh, watch my other videos uh, next time but sign up sign up for uh, you know friend me so you'll get notified when the next time I end up doing a UFO sighting event but make sure that you um, you say please go over to uh, Silmar California teach me something so that I can teach others you know show me something show me something amazing show me something that will prove that you're that you're there so like I said I'm gonna have my um, phone number uh, written up so you could see it and so you know if you can give me a call and talk with me and I'm telling you if they like you they may end up showing up so this happens with many of my friends so uh, basically it's sky surfing and it's kind of like it's kind of like fishing But please let me know where you're coming from and let me know if uh, you know if you're gonna try to send them to my location here in Silmar okay uh, my objective is to get you to see your very first UFO okay and I'm hoping this works but I, I it's I call it a uh, remote telepathic collective communication it's when we collectively call them to come to my location here in Silmar and I know it works I've seen it happen I've heard stories that it happens and uh, I'm excited to even be you know out here with you guys Anyway, hope all is well. Hope you guys had a good Monday. Here in Los Angeles, uh, the schools just let out. So um, traffic is a little bit low. I'm not sure if you hear that in the background, but that's the, um, that's the 52 Hertz whale, the world's loneliest whale. I usually have in the background. It's kind of like, almost like my my calling card when I end up requesting these things to come so the 52 Hertz whale is is known as the loneliest whale uh, what you're hearing is the uh, I guess the American submarine ended up capturing the sound and recording it and they were trying to locate where the sound was this sound was coming from and their their best uh, guess on what what it is is that it's a whale but the other whales don't associate with this one so there's actually 12 hours of audio footage of this whale I guess following around the other whales but the submarine was looking for this whale and could not find it which could mean I don't know maybe maybe it's not a whale at all maybe it's something else that may be following the you know the the, the migrating wells I don't know so If you learn how to send the UFOs to me, you can have them come to your location. They just need to trust you. Uh, if you go to trilate, T R I L A T E dot com, which is my website, uh, I end up kind of breaking it down, but I'm going to do, I'm going to actually do a video on it and basically uh, what's gonna end up happening is is there's there's three reasons why there's three reasons why the UFOs will end up 
end up coming over to you. And uh, the first reason, well, one of the reasons why they'll come over is because, you know, it's got to be safe for them, okay? They don't want to be chased around. And I know you won't, you won't, you won't believe, you know, it's like it's something you, you, you won't blame them. Uh, they don't want to be chased around. Number two, they got to trust you. And number three, you got to be ready for it. Okay, so if you came to one of our UFO sighting events and you can sign up for one of our UFO sighting events on LA UFO channel, if you could sign up for one of our, our events or know where we're going to be and, um, and come over. And if you're a debunker, you know, and actually I, I invite the debunkers but don't hang out with us. Hang out with, uh, you know, actually hang out maybe two or 300 yards away from us. You know, hang out on the other side of the park. And you try to see, we, we end up seeing anywhere from 20 to 50 things and stuff. But go to another end of a park and you, you try to see them. And if you're not ready to see them, they're not going to reveal themselves to you. So, anyway... The number two thing is, uh, how do they trust you? And so, how do they trust you is, well, the first way they can trust you is, uh, I call it the Robert Bingham way, is to get out there every day and summon. Just send it out there. Please come to my location. Show me something amazing. Teach me something so I can teach others. The other way is for them to trust you is by, I call it by proxy. And by proxy is when they, uh, when you associate yourself with people like Robert Bingham or Afosto Perez or any of us on, on LA UFO channel. And what we do is we, we all in, do an invitation. We all do a, a calling. And what ends up happening is they start to come, and when they start to when, when they then they start to come to our location, uh, you know, this is the time. If you're not familiar with this, this is the time for you to send for them and to ask them to 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 come to our location. And when they, you know, when they, you know, they're up there and they're like, I trust these guys, but who the heck is this guy? And when you end up doing that, they go, well, maybe we should trust this guy. He's hanging around with a bunch of people that, that we do trust automatically. So um, so what I usually say, up, oh, up, oh, there's one, there's one. Okay, got it. Okay, here we go. Oh, crap. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Whoa, whoa. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. All right, here we go. Oh crap. Okay, here we go. Whoa, this one looks like a laminar. The laminar. It's like, um, hard to explain. It's like almost like a, uh, oh crap. Okay, here we go, here we go. Here we go. A laminar, it's almost like a, um, like a, like a flapping piece of paper, or no, a flapping piece of tin foil. Come on, here we go, here we go. You guys see it? I'm hoping you guys see it. Here we go. Come on. It's almost like a flapping piece of paper. These are very common. Here we go. Come on. Zoom in on it. Oh, boy. What the heck? Okay. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Come on. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Do you guys see it? It's, it's almost like a... Fl okay. Here we go. It's going from one side of the sky to the other side of the sky. Whoa, and it seems like it's getting closer. Who's bringing this one in? Who's bringing this one in? Whoa. Okay, did we just get lucky seeing this guy? Oh, crap. Okay, here we go. I'm going to take this one off the stand. They, like, float from one side of the sky to the other side of the sky. Holy mo. 
slowly. Come on. It's going from one side of the sky to the other side. Oh, crap. Whoa, it's really moving now. It's called a laminar. These things happen every once in a while. I don't know. It's like the weirdest thing. Oh, crap. Okay, there it goes. Okay, it's gone. Wow. Okay, let's check out the wind. Here's the wind right now. A little bit here. Let's see, what's our time? It's about, how many degrees? It's about 73 degrees. It's about uh, 625. Okay, let's take a look. It's pretty high up there. Uh, looks like there's very, very little wind. Uh, this went from one side of the sky over to the other side of the sky from right over here and it zipped over to the other side and I'm not sure how long that was but it's still flying is you know whatever it is it's still flying I we call it a laminar and uh, you know like I said they look like little pieces of well most of the time they look like little pieces of tin foil they look like little pieces of tin foil so what ends up happening is uh, you know, they kind of let us know, they kind of let us know that, um, that they're around. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I, I haven't seen one of these guys in a long time. But, uh, but I think probably someone out there ended up, you know, just telling me, just write me. Where are you calling from? Okay. Where are you calling from? Uh, what part of the country are you call calling from? Or what part of the world are you coming from? And stuff, but I haven't seen a laminar in like two months now. So that was a pretty that was a pretty amazing sight. I'm glad you were able to see something like that. I know it looks crazy. It, it looks crazy, but these things end up happening. I mean, what's the chances? What's the chance? I'm just doing a live. I'm just doing a live. Uh, a live uh, Facebook, uh, you know, invitation type of thing, and all of a sudden this thing shows up. You can't fake anything like this. So. I believe that someone out there ended up bring, bringing this one in and stuff. So let me know who you are. And, you know, there's some people out there who are very special. They, they know that they're special and they know down deep inside that they can do this. Okay? So let me know who you are. You know, please be my friend. And uh, when I end up doing when I end up doing these things, I need you to come, you know, and have them send over to uh, to, to my location here in Silmar. Okay, so that was a very good one. I'm telling you, this is this was the closest laminar I've ever seen in my entire life. So I believe that someone who's out there is bringing them in to me. Okay, so this one that was like really good. Uh, that's a third one that I've seen today so far. Okay, so. Wow, that one came out of nowhere. Seriously, that one it totally came out of nowhere. So, okay, we'll give it another. We'll give it another five, ten minutes and stuff. Not sure if uh, I got a lot of stuff I got to do. But thank you, uh, thanks for being here. That was a that was a great one. So tell them, tell them to come over here to Silmar. Okay, tell them to show me something so that I can show others. Okay. But not so fast, you know. Make it make it so it doesn't go so fast, okay? Uh, I'd I'd like to capture something. If you can ask for something, ask for something that's that will stay in one position over a little bit of time because I want to show you what it looks like with my um, with my telescope, okay? So have it stay in one position. It doesn't matter what it is. Doesn't matter if it's elongated or or lobular or whatever and stuff but have them stay in one position so I can capture it with my telescope because I want you guys to see it with my telescope I think it's gonna be so fantastic with my telescope okay I'm gonna give you guys my phone number one more time if you guys can grab a uh, if you guys can grab a pencil if you can grab a pencil or a pen, I'm going to show you. I'm going to flip this around. And just give me a call. Just give me a call. And we'll talk. If, if you think you are the one that brought in that laminar and stuff, please call me. Please. Okay, here we are. 
we're taking a look at the other direction here. This is where I'm at. Okay, here's the uh, V520. This is my um, this is my thing here. Uh, this is Jay Lee. Call Jay Lee. This is my fax line. So if um, you know, this is uh, uh, I turned off my fax, so you guys can actually call me and stuff. So give me a call. Write this one down and give me a call. Let me know. Um, let me know. Uh, you know, if you have any questions or, or just talk to me and, and let me know if, if this, if, have you ever done this before? Uh, let me know and, you know, give me some, some experiences and stuff. Give me your website. I want to see some of your, uh, some of your, the stuff that you've actually captured and stuff. All right. Let's see who it is. Lupio. Hey, Lupio, what's going on, my man? Thank you. For, <laughs> thanks for showing up. I'm telling you, this is like such a big, this is such a big thing for me. So, Let's see. I'm going to... Okay, yeah, please send them over to me. Please send them over to me. So, <laughs> you're so good. Lupio, he's like, one, he's one of the best. I'm telling you, one of the best invitation, one of the best callers I've, I've, ever, I've ever experienced. He is so... He is so fantastic. And he sent me some incredible things. I highly recommend you go over to Lupio Ledesma's website on YouTube. And he's also on um, he's also on Facebook, but I'm telling you, he always sends me some of the most amazing some of the most amazing uh, captures. Uh, I don't know how he does it, but he's he's connected. If anybody's connected, it's it, he's definitely connected. So anyway, let me um, let me put a little eyes to the sky here. Like I said, I want you to send me something that stays pretty still. It cannot move. That other one stayed in the one one uh, position. The laminar stayed in one position for, I don't know, two minutes, and then it shot across the sky. I'm not sure if, uh, if you guys saw that. But it went from that side of the sky over to the other side of the sky. And I don't know how long it, it took for it to move, but it was... Uh, it was quite amazing. It was quite amazing. So whoever sent me one, please send it again here, here in Silmar and stuff. I have my telescope. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. My V520 is just, you know, I, I, I love my V520 because you could see things so close. But, but it's nothing like my telescope. I want you to really see uh, what I have with my telescope and stuff. So... Anyway, send me over another one. And you know what? I, I don't have the best eyes in the world, but I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. And right now the, um, let's see. Uh, right now the, uh, the sky's so blue and stuff. So I need to reactivate my, um, I need to reactivate my, um, my 52 hertz whale and stuff. I want you to guys. I want you guys to come with me. Okay, here we go. This is the 52 hertz whale. This is just about to die. This is it. This is what. It, this is what the website kind of looks like. Okay, so I have to redo this, or otherwise it'll shut off. So. Anyway, I have this usually running in the background. I usually have this running in the background. And I, you know, I can't, I can't speak for other people, but this one seems like it works for me. Uh, I listen to audio tapes. I listen to audio tapes and um, I'll listen to YouTube videos. And some people with YouTube, with the YouTube videos is, uh, is fantastic in that Sometimes, the, I don't know if it's their voice or the, their content. Uh, I'm not sure if it's, the, you know, their voice or the video content, but, uh, um, but it seems like they tracked them. There's a couple of them uh, that I'll listen to, and, you know, if I listen to long enough, something will come, you know, to my location here, so... If you see birds, birds are a good sign in that, you know, especially the birds that are really, really high up there because they're like, it's almost like they're searching for something. And, you know, some people say, like Foster Perez, he thinks that there's, uh, there's like, a, they, they create some sort of 
an updraft, which draws the birds higher with very little effort. And, uh, you know, some people say that the, uh, the reason why they're way, way high up there is they're looking for food. And, you know, these things are biological entities. And, you know, possibly, apparently these things could be very tasty. And I actually have video footage of, uh, of one of these things getting snatched up. You know, like, like a laminar getting st snatched up. So, it's one of those things that, you know, why would they, why would birds hang way, way up there in the first place? So, you know, I mean, the, the higher they go, the farther they are, are away from food, right? And they're constantly hungry. So, I'm going to give this a couple of extra minutes, a couple of more minutes, but I just wanted to... Um, make sure that uh, I'm so glad you guys were able to see that last one that is so good so sign up for my website um, you know sign up for my Facebook I'm J Lee UFO on you on YouTube uh, you could see a lot of my other videos um, I usually work with some of the best UFO communicators in the world so these guys are fantastic so anyway if remotely you can connect with me, potentially you could see them yourself. And <laughs> to see these things with your own eyes is one of the most incredible things uh, you'll ever see, especially if you're into UFOs. If you're watching this, if you saw one of these things, you would flip out. You'd totally flip out. So here goes another plane over here. I usually, I should have set it up, but I didn't. Maybe tomorrow if I, if I end up seeing another one. Um, I have this one program. Um, it's called Plane Finder. And with Plane Finder, I think it's a, like a buck 99 or 99 cents. It will tell you which planes are coming into your location. And if it'll tell you which planes are in your location, it'll also tell you the height you know, of the planes, and you know, 15,000 feet, 25,000 feet, 35,000 feet, it'll actually tell you, and I'll tell you, if you watch them long enough, you'll actually see, you'll see these things in the tails, in, the, in their tails, so, you know, they'll, they'll fly by one and stuff, but it may end up giving you a better idea on, it'll give you a better idea on, on how high these things are, how high these UFOs are. So, anyway, um, depending on what ends up happening, I may, may end up having a UFO sighting event here in Silmar. And, uh, you know, I'll invite you guys to, to come over to my location here and, uh, you know, uh, you know, maybe you could see them with me. So this is what I recommend. So if you're into UFOs, this is the only way to go, man, I'm telling you. Anyway, I think what I'm going to do with my current setup, I may end up setting up, um, you know, I'm not 100% sure about the International Space Station. All I know is that I have an app that tells me when it's coming and crossing the sky. So I may end up, you know, hooking up my telescope or my V520 so we can actually see this thing actually cross the sky live like this. So I'm hoping maybe soon, if it comes by soon, I could set up something. I'm just limited with my sky. So I'm thinking that if I could you know, find one that's actually going from one side of the sky to the other side of the sky. It's not uncommon that the International Space Station, the International Space Station, actually crosses the sky. I mean, literally gives me maybe a five to six minute window to catch it as it's crossing the sky. So it would be interesting to see. I think there's a lot of controversy with the International Space Station, but all I know is that something's up there. Something's up there. 
and it crosses the sky when they say it's going to, when the app says it's going to cross. So I usually say, I don't know, it seems like it's the real deal to me, but, you know, I'm not 100% sure. So, anyway, come on, send them over to my, lo send them over to my location. What time is it? I got to get going. You know, I got a lot of stuff I got to do. So, anyway, I'm hoping for those who, who are unfamiliar with where uh, Silmar is and have time to watch, watch me here and stuff, please, I think I'm going to try to set up for tomorrow also. So, I want you... I want you guys to go onto my other videos, and they're on Facebook. Uh, or you could do a little research on your own on where Silmar is, okay? And just I'm I'm next to the I'm next to the uh, the hills, and there is a uh, there's a tower there in the in the um, in the distance and stuff. Uh, my my beacon is on top of my roof, and it will shine down. It will shine up to them. I've gotten birds to dive bob me. And uh, I get birds sitting around. They, they look at this thing all the time and stuff. So I know it attracts attention. And uh, I know it's a... I probably don't need, you know, some sort of visual aid. But I do it anyway just to kind of show them exactly where, exactly where I'm at and stuff. I'm sure they're, they're close. But um, anyway. All right. So I think I'm going to stop. I'm going to set up possibly tomorrow around the same time. I'm looking at right maybe 5 o'clock, 5.15. If I have some time, I'm going to set up as quickly as I can, and I'm going to do another uh, UFO sighting event. Uh, like I said, I'm going to need you to help me bring them to my, re to my location uh, so we could see UFOs together, okay? I want, I want people to see their very first UFO. That laminar was pretty good. Uh, the other thing I just want to, you know, let people know is that I'm having problems with my video card on my computer currently. So I've ordered another computer. Hopefully that will come in pretty soon. I think I'm going to do, you know, the latest version of Adobe uh, Premiere. Uh, it's called CC. There's a monthly prescription uh, subscription for that. So anyway, I can't wait for that one to come in. If I do it on my computer right now, I will, I don't know, I'm going to try it anyway, but uh, it, it blacks out on me, and I have multiple screens, and it, the whole thing will crash on me and stuff, and then I end up losing uh, my o Adobe Premiere until I restart my computer, and my restart my computer is about, it's a 20-minute procedure, so not fun. So, anyway, all right, I think I'm going to let it go. Um, thank you for joining me. Thank you for joining me. Uh, uh, saw, three things, uh, saw three things today. Uh, while I was setting up, I saw the other one and stuff. Um, I'm going to set up my, my phone line so, so you guys can call and ask me some questions if you have some questions on this. Um, I, the only thing I ask with the, uh, with the telephone calls is if you can, uh, if you have audio on your television or your, or your phone or whatever, you have to turn it down low. Otherwise, there's going to be some sort of an echo or something like that, I, I suspect. So anyway, or it might be an echo for the viewers, the people that are listening to this whole thing. So anyway, all right. So um, I'll see you guys next time, all right? Okay, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.